and welcome to another episode of Too Many Hobbies, a series where I try everything. I'm on a mission to try out everything in my hobby box and more to find my next cozy hobby. And maybe you'll discover your next crafty obsession along with me. Today, I'm bringing you along as I rediscover a craft that I put down and am now picking back up again, crochet. So I know what you're thinking. If I've already done crochet, then am I really trying out a new hobby for the first time? Yeah. Yes and no. While I'm familiar with crochet from doing amigurumi last year, today I'll be doing something super out of my wheelhouse, which is crocheting a ruffle hat. I think crocheting amigurumi versus clothes and accessories requires a little bit of a different set of knowledge and skills in my opinion. So today I am challenging myself to expand on my crochet skill set. So like I said, today I am making one of those cute ruffly crochet hats. And in this process, I'm going to learn how to crochet granny squares for the first time. They say it's a really easy beginner project, but today I'm going to put that to the test. I'll let you know if this hobby gets the cozy stamp of approval from me. Also, we'll figure out was it affordable, beginner friendly, and most importantly, fun and relaxing. So without further ado, let's get started. This is everything you'll need if you want to try this out for yourself at home. Yarn, crochet hooks, some stitch markers, a tapestry needle, and some scissors. Okay, hello, editing Nia here. I just wanna put a huge disclaimer at the beginning of this video. I Frankenstein a granny square that I like the design of into a hat instead of following a more dedicated pattern. And I don't think as a beginner that is probably like the easiest thing to do, but I was being a little Delulu. Unfortunately, I'm a little ambitious, I'm hard headed, and I was like, I could probably do it right and i did but maybe just find a pattern that you like and try it instead of collaging patterns like i did in this video that's it okay back to the video this pattern is by kristen crochets and i was following along her youtube tutorial video which i'm not usually a fan of video tutorials because i like to have podcasts and music on while i crochet but i wasn't able to find her written pattern at first and in all truthfulness, I definitely needed the visual, even though I really wanted to do without the video. I know editing magic is making this look like it was a breeze, but I was definitely struggling and I had to frog this more than a couple times. I haven't crocheted in some months now, and I definitely needed a refresher on some things. I found myself looking up how to do double crochet stitches, and I had even forgotten my trick to doing an easier magic circle. I didn't even know with the intention of just making a granny square that I would even be working in the round, which is very common. The only reason I know what working in the round means is because I used to do amigurumi and that essentially just means working in a circle, which makes a lot of sense for this apple shape. But yeah, in all truthfulness, this was a little bit difficult. Sorry, I have my glasses on because my eyes have been hurting lately. Been dealing with a little bit of eye strain, but oh my goodness, I feel like just getting one square done was quite the task. And I'm so tempted to just rename this video making crochet granny squares for the first time because man, that really kicked my butt. But we're gonna persevere. I need five of these granny squares to make a hat. So hopefully by the time I get to the fifth one, 
it'll just be a breeze. I'm done for the day and um, we'll pick up tomorrow, hopefully in a cozier location. I didn't really like crocheting at my desk. It's not something that I like have ever really liked to do all that much so I think I'm going to change locations tomorrow and try to be a little bit cozier. I've got five of these little granny squares. Oh, I actually still need to embroider this one, but I'm going to try to put these together and string together a hat. Um, we'll see how that goes. Okay, so this is where I start freestyling. To make a crochet hat, you'll need granny squares. And I just knew that based off the patterns that I had looked at, I needed about five of them. And so once I had crocheted out five of those, I went back to this video by Strong Earth Creations where she crochets together a sunflower bucket hat. Obviously I'm not doing sunflowers, but I found her tutorial very useful. Here's the hat right now. Still working on the rim of it. To tell you the truth, I actually like sewed this on upside down. Initially, like the way that the tutorial that I was watching was saying to do it was to leave like the wrong side out while you were slip stitching the edges and stuff here. But for the top, I, I don't know where I messed up. I tried to do like the ugly side up and then when I turned it inside out all the apples were like facing upside down so I took it apart and re-stitched it. I know this little hat is just kind of like all kinds of messed up. Even if I look inside of the hat there's so many ends I still need to weave in but yeah. I have never made like accessories or anything with crochet. I've really only ever done amigurumi. So even though this looks crazy, <laughs> especially on the inside, um, I'm pretty proud of myself. And it's super kitschy, like <laughs> even though it didn't turn out like perfectly, uh, I think it's still really cute. Okay, so this is how my apple hat turned out. For our first project, I feel like this turned out really cute. So I'm really happy with it. And yeah, I really did have to persevere through this because the first few granny squares were a bit of a challenge for me, but I'm so glad that I did because now I have a really cute, funky new piece. So let's get into ratings. I'm looking at affordability, overall enjoyment, the learning curve, and was it cozy? Affordability wise, I think crochet is a pretty affordable hobby to get into. Michaels and Joann's are always having yarn sales. There are also tons of free patterns online as well, and the supplies to get started is fairly inexpensive. So definitely a super affordable hobby. As far as overall enjoyment, I do think it comes as you acquire the skills. If you have never done any kind of crochet before, you have to be very patient and have to go into it prepared to not know or understand what you're doing. I ended up personally taking a class on it about a year ago, like an in-person class, because I just couldn't understand from just videos alone what was going on with the hug and how to pull up a loop. Even as I talked about earlier, I've never done granny squares before, so even 
trying to learn how to do this was a little bit difficult despite having a background in crochet. Overall, once you understand what you're doing though, I feel like it becomes more enjoyable and there's less confusion and frustration about the technique. By the time I reached my third granny square, I kind of had a grasp of what I was doing at that point, so it definitely became a lot easier to just go through the last couple and just enjoy the process for what it is. You guys saw that I switched to being in my living room Room and I was watching Rotten Mango. So yeah, it, it gets easier, I would say. It may not be one of those hobbies that you immediately know how to do, and there might be a little bit of a learning curve, which leads me into my next point about the learning curve. Now for me, again, prior experience, so I would say it wasn't as hard as it could have possibly been had I not known how to do crochet at all, but there was still somewhat of a learning curve in trying to figure out how to stitch together the granny square. Creating the apple wasn't too bad once I kind of refreshed myself, but the actual stitches for granny squares were very unfamiliar to me, so there was a little bit of a learning curve for that. And to be honest, with zero experience, I would say it is a little bit of a steep learning curve. I know people say granny squares are a good beginner-friendly project, and I think once you find a groove for it, they can be. But as far as like me personally recommending starting with granny squares to someone, I probably wouldn't. I'd probably encourage you to make like an amigurumi ball or something instead. Finally, is it cozy? Now, I know I've mentioned how it was a little bit of a task, it was a little bit difficult, but once I did find my groove, it was very cozy, so this hobby is definitely cozy approved. And I'm only saying that because it does put you into like a trance. A lot of the stitches are repetitive and so over time it's just like kind of automatic as you're going along crocheting. It's something that I don't even want to do at my desk. I want to be in my living room with a cozy blanket and a movie or podcast or something on in the background. I've actually very often like crocheted while hanging out with folks. So I think crocheting is a cozy little hobby for sure. But my big takeaway is that it requires patience. <laughs> Overall, I came to really enjoy making this and I would love to make more in the future. Maybe even like offer them in my shop. But yeah, this was my journey into making this cute apple ruffle hat. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you would like early access to videos like this, consider subscribing to my Patreon. At the tip jar tier, I have a Discord in which I share my too many hobbies projects. And I would love for more folks to join and share their projects as well. I'd love to see what you guys also come up with if you decided to follow along. So consider heading over to my Patreon and checking out some of the exclusive perks and discounts that I offer there. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I I will see you in the next one. Bye guys!